I will show you how to make a simple heater with power ranging from 10 up to 100 kilowatts. To do so, we will need a steel wire, insulated cable, and basically that's it. When I prepared the first test, I cut a piece of wire that was 3 meters in length with a diameter of 1.7 millimeters. I then attached the 220 volts cable to both sides. The current in the circuit reaches up to 100 amps, so it's better to connect directly to the circuit breaker so that you don't overload the circuit and blow out your outlet. The lights didn't go out. Nice, it's working. I feel the heat even from where I'm standing now. Nichrome wire will not work. Due to its high electrical resistance, it can only give 1 or 2 kilowatts. But still has a lower resistance, making it consume way more power. The heat is felt almost instantly. Within a minute, the walls and furniture have also warmed up. This is vastly more powerful than a conventional heater. For comfort and safety, it's recommended to rub the wire around an asbestos cement pipe with legs. The intensity of the output depends on the thickness and length of the wire. Be careful not to take the wire too short, as it will melt. I tried out four different heater options and displayed the results here on the screen. Wow! Wow! This here is an example of a 100 kilowatt heater made of a 3 mm wire. It's so powerful that it can be used outdoors and in large spaces. It is as though we were beside a campfire. The current in the circuit reaches 500 amps. You might say that's impossible, but it is so. Most rural power grids easily carry a current of hundreds of amperes, and apartment buildings even greater than that. By the way, the efficiency of such heaters is higher than that of air heaters, radiators and fans. This is because instead of heating the air, the objects themselves are heated with infrared rays. As you can see, not tricky at all. Be very careful with electricity and don't start any fires. We'll be posting many new videos soon. Don't miss out. Subscribe below.